In the world of automotive care, few topics spark as much debate and marketing hype as engine oil. We are bombarded with claims of maximum engine protection, but what happens when these premium synthetic oils are pushed through a grueling, real-world endurance test? We took America's seven most prominent synthetic motor oils and subjected them to a brutal 150,000-mile real-world simulation. This was as close to a decade of harsh, varied driving as we could create. We tested them in simulated Death Valley heat, Alaskan cold, daily commuting, and heavy towing. After the equivalent of 10 years of driving, only one oil emerged looking like it could do it all over again. The others showed distinct weaknesses. Some lost viscosity under heat. Some formed stubborn varnish. One allowed timing chain stretch beyond specification. And the oil that dominates NASCAR marketing? It showed higher wear metals than expected. Here is what will shock you. All seven oils carry the latest API SP certifications and claim maximum protection. Yet, in our controlled test, only three truly delivered premium, long-term performance. Today, I am revealing the complete test data on Pennzoil Platinum, Mobile One Extended Performance, Amsoil Signature Series, Valvoline Sin Power, Castrol Edge, Royal Purple, and Lucas Synthetic. Stay until the end. The number one oil isn't the most expensive one. And the one that underperformed is likely what your dealership uses. I guarantee after seeing the teardown evidence, you'll understand why oil is the most important fluid in your engine. Section 1. The 150,000 mile premium oil showdown. Protocol. To ensure scientific rigor, we used seven identical 5.3L V8 truck engines, the workhorse of America. Each engine ran a different oil for the entire test period, with strict 7,500 mile change intervals using high quality Wix XP filters. The oils tested were Pennzoil Platinum, Mobile One Extended Performance, Amsoil Signature Series, Valvoline Sin Power, Castrol Edge, Royal Purple HPS, and Lucas Oil Full Synthetic. We didn't just drive. We simulated real owner profiles. One engine idled for hours police, taxi simulation, one towed 6,000 pounds monthly, and one did only short trips. Oil analysis was performed by two independent labs, Blackstone and Polaris. After 150,000 miles, we performed complete engine teardowns with micrometer measurements of every critical part. A certified lubrication specialist with 25 years in the industry oversaw the analysis. This was about separating marketing claims from measurable, physical results. Section 2. The Base Oil Breakdown PAO versus GTL versus Group 3 not all full synthetics are created equal legally or chemically. The base oil foundation is critical. Group 4, PAO, used by Amsoil, Royal Purple, and Lucas. This is a true synthetic engineered for excellent thermal stability and performance at extremes. GTL gas to liquid, the foundation of Pennzoil Platinum. Natural gas is converted into an ultra-pure base oil, leading to exceptional cleanliness. Group 3, Hydrocracked, the base for Mobile One, Valvoline, and Castrol. This is a highly refined mineral oil that can legally be labeled synthetic in the USA, though it lacks the innate. This chemical foundation determined everything that followed in our testing. Section 3, Cold Start Performance. Zero degrees Fahrenheit to 200 degrees Fahrenheit engine wear is most severe during cold starts. We measured the time to reach critical oil pressure at zero degrees Fahrenheit after a 12-hour soak. Top tier, under 1.5 seconds, Amsoil Signature Series and Royal Purple. Their advanced PAO bases flowed effortlessly in extreme cold. Excellent 1.5 to 2.5 seconds, Pennzoil Platinum and Mobile One EP. Both offered very good reliable cold weather performance. Average 2.5, 3.5 seconds, Valvoline Sin Power and Lucas Synthetic. Slowest over 4 seconds, Castrol Edge. Its viscosity modifiers struggled significantly in the extreme cold, leading to prolonged low oil pressure operation. Section 4. 
the high temperature towing torture test. We maintained a punishing 230 degrees Fahrenheit oil temperature for 500 consecutive miles while towing. High heat can break down oil, causing it to thin out. Heat Champions Amsoil. Signature Series lost only 1.8% viscosity. Pennzoil Platinum lost 2.2%. Their additive packages remained remarkably stable. Good performance. Mobile One EP. 3.5% loss and Royal Purple, 3.1% loss. Heat Faders, Valvoline, Sinpower, 5.8% loss and Lucas Synthetic, 6.2% loss showed significant thinning. Worst in Heat Castrol. Edge lost a substantial 8.7% viscosity and showed clear signs of oxidation in the used oil analysis. Section 5. The Cleanliness Factor. Sludge and Amp Varnish Scores. After teardown, each engine was scored for cleanliness from 1 to 10. Sludge and Varnish Rob Performance and Longevity. 10 out of 10 Spotless Pennzoil Platinum. The valve train and pistons looked virtually new, a testament to its GTL purity. 9.5 out of 10 Amsoil Signature Series. Near Perfect with only minor varnish on the timing cover. 8.5 out of 10, Mobile One EP. Very clean, though some intake valve deposits were noted. 7 out of 10, Royal Purple Clean, but with a distinctive purple dye tint on components. 6 out of 10, Valvoline Sin Power Moderate Varnish was evident on pistons. 5 out of 10, Lucas Synthetic showed more sludge in the oil pan than expected. 4 out of 10, Castrol Edge heavy varnish coated piston skirts and valve stems, a result of poor thermal stability. Section 6. Wear Metal Analysis. What the labs found. We averaged wear metals, iron, aluminum, copper, across all oil samples to gauge protection over 150,000 miles. Lowest overall wear Amsoil Signature Series, 25% below industry averages. Excellent wear protection, Pennzoil Platinum and Royal Purple. Average wear Mobile One EP and Valvoline Sinpower. Higher than expected wear, Lucas Synthetic Elevated Copper from Bearings. Highest wear Castrol Edge Iron Wear was 40% above average. Section 7, the Timing Chain and Amp, Bearing Inspection. The final teardown inspection of the timing chain and bearings reveals the true test of long-term oil health. Best like new Amsoil timing chain stretch measured a minimal 0.08%. Bearings showed only a healthy polish. Excellent Pennzoil Platinum and Royal Purple 0.12% chain stretch. Bearing clearances were within factory spec. Good Mobile One EP 0.18% chain stretch slight but measurable bearing wear. Concerning Valvoline and Lucas, 0.25% chain stretch. Visible bearing wear patterns. Worst Castrol Edge, 0.35% chain stretch near service limit. One bearing showed visible copper underlayer. Section 8, the final ranking. America's best synthetic oils. Synthesizing all data, here is our definitive ranking from worst to first. Number seven. Castrol Edge, consistently underperformed. Highest wear, poor heat stability, most deposits. Verdict, heavily marketed but doesn't deliver premium protection. Number six, Lucas Synthetic, disappointing for its price. Higher wear metals and sludge. Verdict, better for racing than daily driving longevity. Number five, Valvoline Sinpower. The definition of average. Does nothing exceptionally well or poorly. Verdict. A safe choice if on sale, but not exceptional. Number four. Royal Purple, HPS, excellent performance with one quirk, the dye can stain. Verdict. Great oil if you don't mind purple tinted internals. Number three. Mobile One extended performance. The long time gold standard. Still excellent, but competitors have caught up. Verdict. You can't go wrong, but there's better value now. Number two, 
Amsoil Signature Series, the Performance King, lowest wear, best heat stability. Verdict, if money is no object and you want maximum protection. Number one, Pennzoil Platinum, the surprise winner. Best balance of cleanliness, protection, availability, and value. Verdict, the new benchmark for what a synthetic oil should be. Section nine. Why Pennzoil beat more expensive competitors? How did a widely available oil triumph? Four key reasons. One, GTL purity, made from natural gas, not crude oil. Fewer impurities mean fewer deposits and outstanding cleanliness. Two, perfectly balanced additive package. Its blend of detergents, dispersants, and anti-wear agents is arguably the best in the industry for balanced protection. 3. OEM approvals. It carries more factory approvals, for example, Mercedes-Benz, Porsche, GM Dexos 1, than any other oil on this list. 4. Availability and AMP value. Widely available at reasonable prices without the boutique brand markup. Section 10. Your action plan based on this test for 95% of drivers. Pennzoil Platinum provides the best balance of top-tier performance and real-world value. For extreme conditions, heavy towing, track days, Amsoil Signature Series is worth the premium for that extra margin. If you're brand loyal to Mobile One, it's still excellent, but consider Pennzoil for your next change as a potentially superior alternative. Avoid paying premium for underperformance. Our data suggests Castrol Edge and Lucas Synthetic did not justify their price. Change intervals. Matter. Stick to a maximum of 7,500 miles or one year and always use a quality filter. This exhaustive test proved that a high price tag does not automatically equal high performance. The most expensive oil Amsoil was only marginally better in daily conditions than the more affordable Pennzoil Platinum. Your engine doesn't care about marketing budgets or celebrity endorsements. It cares about molecular stability, additive quality, and film strength. Protect your investment with the oil that delivered measurable scientific results, not the one with the biggest advertising campaign. Choose science over slogans. If this independent data-driven testing helps you make a better choice, tell us in the comments based on these results. Which of these premium synthetic oils will you trust in your engine?